We already know that we have three elections, important elections next year in the European Union, in the, on the continent. The first in the Netherlands, the second in France, and the third in Germany. The complicating factor immediately of European elections is it means that domestic issues trump anything else. And therefore, all those governments are going to be concerned to be giving their electorates what they want, not actually bending over backwards to perhaps be nice to the British in their Brexit negotiations. The most complicated is probably in France. That's where um, François Hollande is facing a huge challenge from Marine Le Pen of the far right National Front. And anything he does, if you like to be seen to be generous to Britain, there is a real fear that she will then say, then we shall have the same ourselves. We also wish to be out or semi-out of the European Union. And why can't we impose our own new immigration barriers in France? I think there's a bit the same in the Netherlands, actually, which we forget too often, but it's a very interesting bellwether state of the European Union. And again, there is a strong Eurosceptic party running second, uh, led by Herr Wilders, uh, very keen to do the sort of things that the British would like to do. Have much tighter borders, have a much more distant relationship with Brussels. Angela Merkel is uh, clearly, in a way, the, the deal-maker, the person who can really uh, pull it all together if necessary. Now, she also faces a difficult election. She's lost quite a lot of her very real popularity because of the influx of refugees and the rise of, of a sort of anti-immigration party in Germany. My understanding of how Angela Merkel wants to play these negotiations can be summed up like this. There is going to be no punishment. Nobody is out to punish the British for voting to leave, but nor is anybody going to bend over backwards to allow the British to cherry pick. So it's quite a tough position. Um, and I think it's got tougher the more that the British government seems to have been suggesting they're going for hard Brexit.